Hey guys, this is CMDR, and uh, this is a video about my Nexus 7 and my uh, my old Nook Color. Uh, this used to be my tablet uh, before I bought my Nexus 7, and uh, I would install Android on it. And recently, I noticed that new CM10 Sajma 10 builds are out for the Nook Color. This is a uh, three-year-old device. It released around 2009, and uh, they just released new Mod Nightlies. This is a device that hasn't been supported officially by Mod since Mod 7, which was around two years ago. So this is a big jump, uh, thanks to all the developers who did this. We're going to do a walkthrough, and I'm going to show you the differences between the Nexus 7. So, here we go. Uh, I'm turning it off. I'm doing a fresh start, so you can see how long it takes to turn on. Uh, I'm going to do both for, you know, I'm going to do the same things on both so you can get a feel about the speed for it. Uh, it's not really, you know, it's one of the, the first build was the other day, so this is pretty fast for a first build. I think it's an alpha, but uh, everything's smooth. Pretty much everything works. Google Now doesn't work. Um, some things crash. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything else works. So, you know, I just turned this, you know, I just flashed this ROM a couple hours ago, so I wanted to get this ROM ready to do a video for you guys. So this is the boot up test. I mean, okay, so I'm going to talk about the specs here now. The Nexus 7, or the Nexus 7 over here, my bad. It has a quad-core Tegra 3. So it's quad-core Cortex-A9 processor. And it's got a full gig of RAM and 12-core GPU. And this is the official Google tablet. So this is obviously going to come with the, uh, this has 4.2 on it, this has 4.1. Um, this has a 1 gigahertz Cortex-A I think 8 processor, um, it's OMAP 3 single core, and it's got half a gig of RAM and a single core GPU also. Uh, it uses PowerVR SGX 540, while this uses the uh, NVIDIA, I'm not sure which GPU, I think it's GeForce. But as you can see, the Nexus 7 is already booted up, and here is the uh, Nook Color. This has internal storage, so it might take a while for it to be smooth, but as you can see, it's pretty fast, it unlocks, you know. So this is 4.2 on the Nexus 7. Let me just turn the brightness down a little bit. So you can see that. All right. Um, all right. So it's downloading the uh, internal storage. We're gonna do a few speed tests. So uh, <clears throat> as you can tell, this is a little bit jerkier than the Nexus 7. The Nexus 7 is actually super smooth, like it's butter smooth, I don't know if you can see on the camera. Project Butter definitely works on the Nexus 7, it's very smooth, very fast. However, on the uh, Nook Color, it doesn't seem that Project Butter is enabled. It's fast enough to use, like daily, but Project Butter is definitely not completely there. But, it's smooth enough to use, like if you use Science Mod 9 alphas, on the uh, Nook Color, you know it's a lot slower on there. So, I'm not sure who was working on this, but they did a good job for the first port. Uh, let's load up settings to show you the... Uh, see, as you can see, it loads a lot faster than CM9. So, we're going to do about tablet on both. And it uses... It doesn't use the tablet... Uh, you know, version of the OS anymore. In the previous builds for the Nook Color, they'd use the tablet one with a pull-down bar, but in this, they decided to use the uh, Nexus 7 as source for it. So, it's a lot similar to Nexus 7. It's pretty much, you know, it's very similar. So, as you can see, Android 4.1.2, I'll do the little Easter egg for you guys. It's a little jerky, but I'm not sure if OpenGL works on this build. So, it might, it might not, I'm not sure. But, overall, it's a fast ROM, everything works as it should. Google search, however, it doesn't. It crashes on it, but I'm sure they'll have that fixed soon. And since it doesn't have an external microphone, uh, I guess if they got the headphone microphone work, as you can see, Google search has stopped. But, you know, it comes with pretty much everything the Nexus 7 has. It's a little bit jerkier, but it's definitely usable. So, that's my uh, review of CM10, the first preliminary build for the uh, Nook Color. And uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.